Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Shady C here. Now, apparently, I did my unboxing video for 2K18. I've done a lot of gameplay videos. But someone pointed out to me that I haven't yet done an actual review of the game to give my opinion on what I thought and what they could do better and worse and whatnot. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to give you my review. So, what do I like about the game? We'll start there. We'll be positive first, and then we'll get to the negative crap. Even though I know most of y'all probably came here to hear the negative crap. I love that they included backstage areas. I like the free roam. And unlike some of y'all, I like the fact that they don't let you progress in story mode unless you win. Or complete the, the, the task. Because that gets hard. So it might take me a few times before I can, can get to the next level or next area or next... Uh, or beat the match. Um, so I like that. Um, I like the controls were decent. But again, I'm, I'm going to jump to negative now. Why the hell? No, no mercy controls. See, what, what video game developers don't understand, Acclaim had the same problem with Legends of Wrestling. Um, I'm pretty sure that when... Um, what do you call it? Fire Pro Wrestling comes out. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, that didn't come out yet. When Fire Pro Wrestling comes out, the new New Japan thing they got going on, it's probably going to have really bad controls also. I don't have Steam, so I haven't played it yet. So, yeah, No Mercy controls, man. There's a reason to this day that No Mercy is still thought of as the greatest game in the world and the greatest wrestling game in the world because of the controls, man. The graphics were terrible. Graphics weren't great. But people still enjoy it. There's people who make mods of the current generation's roster in the No Mercy form uh, type style. It's not because the game, the actual graphics are phenomenal. They're not. It's because of the way the 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 wrestlers handle. It's because of the control. You don't have to press A and B at the same time or X and Square or whatever the hell it was to do a finisher. You just flick your joystick. You know the moves were simple. It was a type of game that a non-wrestling fan could pick up and play. 2K18 for 2K19. No Marcy controls. Get it, got it good. Sorry, I had to go in that little rant there for a minute. Um, I love the backstage areas, though. What I want for 2K19 is um, expanded, obviously. Add more. Don't do like you did. There was one game I, a few years ago. I can't remember what it was. It was one of the SmackDown vs. Raws, I believe. And they had a free roam, a little bit of a free roam. And then the next year it was gone. Don't do that. We want the free roam. We like the free roam. It's cool. Expand on it. Also, make it more, make it more, give more options in the free roam. For example, I can't just walk up to somebody and deck them and start a fight and get in a rivalry. I should be able to do that. That would be cool. You know, I think that if Rockstar was making. The 2K wrestling games. Well, they wouldn't be 2K. Well, I don't know, man. Anyways, if Rockstar was making the wrestling, the WWE games, I think they'd be a lot better. There'd be a lot more options, a lot more to do. Um, so, yeah, keep keep the free roam and expand it. Backstage areas. Again, keep and expand. Don't just give us what we got now. It's nice. I like that they did expand this year. That was a cool thing. But I want even more. They can't go to WWE New York anymore because it don't exist. But get us Times Square, you know. Get us outside the arena. You know, let us walk around and do stuff. Put people out there too. Don't make it empty. Because I could just see them making, like, giving you outside but making it empty. No, nah, don't do that. You know, allow us to go places. Um, give us, if you want to do, I, for some reason, 2K is obsessed with mini games. I one thing I want them to change is the submission system. Get rid of that. People miss. It was funny. In the 90s, we complained about the button mashing submission type thing. We have to get out of a submission or whatever. Now people miss it. I've heard people say, bring back the button mashing. And not the new one where you tell us what button to mash. Mash this one. And then it switches. Mash this one. Mash it. No. Let us just mash the buttons, man. It was fun. It was carefree. It was a different time for wrestling games. It was a different time altogether, but definitely a different time for wrestling games. But yeah, I definitely want to see that. I want to see um, the mini game with the ladder. Get rid of it. 
It's annoying. I'm playing a game. I don't need a mini game. What do I need a mini game for? What's the reason for a mini game? I'm playing a game. Well, don't you like me? No, I don't want a mini game. I'm playing a game. Um, but yeah, improve those things. Get rid of get rid of the submission mini game. Get rid of the ladder mini game. You know, just put in the buttons as they were before. Um, no mercy controls. We want that. I've seen more than a few people ask for that, so I know that's common. I want it. It'd be so much more fun if they had no mercy controls. Um, continue improving the graphics. That's always really good. I like that. Um, that's really all I can think of. Expand backstage. Um, expand free roam. Expand the area. Um, make it okay. Here's here's a criticism. Make make um make the career mode a little better with the backstage. Like, for example, you could go and have a match with, I don't know, Kurt Hawkins. And then after the match, go backstage and talk to someone. Hey, good luck on your match tonight with Kurt Hawkins. I had the match with Kurt Hawkins already. Man, allow the game. There's got to be a way that they can make it to where when you go backstage, someone can then, everyone will say, ooh, that match was good. Or it sucked when you attacked Jinder Mahal. You know what I mean? Make, make it allow it to evolve a little bit. And also, don't let me go from one town to another and have Roman Reigns standing outside with a dopey look on his face saying the same thing he said last week. I have everyone's lines change. You can do that. Especially because it's not spoken dialogue. It's just typed. Type different stuff, man. But yeah, that's I, as far as a scale of 1 to 10, because y'all know I don't do 5-star scales. I do 10-star scales. We go bigger here. Go bigger, go home. I'm going to say 5 stars. It was a lot of great, and there was a lot of bad. But, um, yeah, five stars, which is good because last year's got four stars. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting DLC. All right, let's talk about DLC for a minute. Hold on, hold on. Don't want to forget about DLC. This year's DLC was terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. And I thought something else I can complain about, so hold on. The, the DLC was terrible. Um, we want more DLC, not less. Especially when you buy the collector's edition. You want more. You want more bang for your buck, not less. Um, also, if you're going to have guys exclusive to the collector's edition, don't let it be... A, you, if you want people to buy the collector's edition, they have to have the feeling they're not going to be able to get these exclusives elsewhere. Which is cool for the physical stuff. They couldn't. But for like um, Rob Van Dam, for example... Rob Van Dam and Batista were the scene enough, were the scene enough special. But they were also available on the on the regular collector's edition. And they were avail they're available now, I believe, if you want to purchase them, I believe. So that's not good. They should have only been available in the scene enough edition because the whole gimmick behind them being available was that they were seen as quote unquote biggest rivals. So why would why in the heck would you have them in the scene enough edition and the collector's edition? That made no sense. And then there were people, I've actually seen a couple people who said, you know, I want Cena and Rob, I mean, I want Rob Van Dam and I want, um, what you call it, and I want um, Batista. I don't have to get the Cena Enough Edition, I can pay less and just get the regular Collector's Edition. And I know for a fact some of them people would have got the Cena Enough Edition if Rob, if Rob Van Dam and Batista were exclusive to it. So that's something y'all need to work on. But back to the... Um, Back to the um, the DLC. Really, the Legends pack is um, Hardy's, Beth Phoenix, and Rock and Roll Express. I didn't even want Beth Phoenix in the Hall of Fame. She ain't Legend yet. She ain't old enough for that. But yeah, y'all should have made that bigger. Have more DLC. And again, Hulk Hogan was robbed. Hulk Hogan was robbed. I'm sorry. He's done some jerky stuff. He's done some stuff to make you go, really, man? Really? You gonna be like that? But he's freaking, he, he's the Mickey Mouse of the WWE. He really is. You can't remove him, man. I swear, that would be like Disney. If they came out and said, you know what? We're going to remove Mickey Mouse from all our advertisements. He's no longer going to be in the Disney world. You're not going to be able to see him. He's, there are not going to be any cartoons about him. No more hats. No you know, hats with the mouse ears. No more of them neither. That'd be like if they completely removed Mickey Mouse. 
from anything to do with Disney. You can't, because they're synonymous at this point. Hulk and the WWE are synonymous. 2K19, we want Hulk Hogan, brother. Anyways, this is my rant. If you agree with me, do me a favor and like, subscribe, and share. If you don't agree with me, you wrong. But you can still feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Let me break that down, because a lot of people don't understand what I mean. I mean, like my video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with everybody. Allow everybody to see me. And as you know, I'm Shady C, and I'm always right. Peace.